Okay, so welcome, and today we're going to be doing a fleet lineup review with Ryben. So, if you want to show me to the first ship, and I'll follow you in. Alright, so we're going to start with that first ship that we always think of as the big one. The first big one, which we then later on realize is maybe not quite so big. <laughs> That'll be right here. This is the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought. <laughs> right here, if you take a look. Yep, it's a whole 35 blocks long. Um, I tried to do side-mounted, broadside-type missiles. Doesn't, didn't realize it didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this was the first ship that I ever built. And I think I can at least... And actually, you can see the first ship I ever made directly below that uh, docked. That was my salvage ship. I didn't know anything about um, different hull types. I mean, I knew that they were there. I didn't know anything about admin commands. I had barely seen any other ships ever made. Yeah, this was this was square one for me. That being said, <coughs> um, I can't really say it has an interior, <laughs> but it does have a door. Nice. So I guess that's a start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. So that's the dreadnought. What's the next yep. one? Well, the next one is the light carrier. It was actually not a carrier. <laughs> well, it kind of was. Um, if you look along the sides, there are some docks. Uh, yep. They were meant for, I believe, turrets. This is going to be my first attempt at a turret. And if you look closely at the front, you'll notice a striking similarity between it and the dreadnought. It literally is the dreadnought which, with a whole bunch of stuff built off the back end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. As, as you do. Um, it actually docks up to the next ship quite well. Okay, so um, what's the next one called? <laughs> next one's called Mother 2. It was my first attempt at a carrier to carry all of my little ships. So I had like a mining ship and a cloak ship, and all sorts of weird stuff docked to it. Um, just because, uh, again, this is all before I knew anything about admin commands. This whole line is what you might call the first generation of stuff being built by me. Yeah. Um, didn't know anything about admin commands, was doing this all in survival, and attempted to build this, and that's that's where I got what I got to. Uh, I, maybe it's just me trying to prove that, yes, everybody goes through this stage. Except for Dalmont. I've seen his first ships, and they're, um, they're beautiful, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair, it really is. What's the next one? Uh, the next one is the Val 2. This was the first... This is the first ship I could call a ship. Like, I actually had colors, sort of, semi-designated. Um, the whole premise was, uh, if you remember Serenity... Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to build a Reaver ship, something that looked like it was partially broken. Now, this is not a finished version, exactly, but it's about as close as I ever got. Um, and it was actually a lot of fun. I didn't know anything about power, as you might be able to tell. Um, only knew that, you know, guns couldn't be touching. It was built, com and this is when I first figured out symmetry mode, too. So, uh, everything was, of course, built on even sim. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> least, or at least I was. And, uh, yeah, so this was the <coughs> Val 2. It was um, actually what got me onto my first server, which I stayed on for all of three days before, like, joining you guys. Nice. Um, and actually, we're going to go and take a look at those next. So this is Generation 1, Yep. if you will, an attempt at turrets. This is feeling out the game. Everybody does it. So where to you and, then? Uh, next is going to be right over here. I don't know if you can see me. I'm just kind of in a fast. I'm in a fast little cam bot. We're going to go and take out, take a look at the Nighthawk Mark III. There is a Mark I and a Mark II, but they're crap, so we're going to use the Mark III. Okay. This one's this one's uh, this one actually came after the Athena, but it's kind of less advanced. In a way, less to be done. Yeah. So um, this was sort of made to be an escort. I don't know. 
frigate corvette sort of thing. There's just a whole bunch of guns up front. This is before the shotgun nerf. Just before the shotgun nerf. And there's a small interior to it, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, it's also got missiles in the wings. Because missiles. I think that's probably like the only thing anyone ever needs to say. Because missiles. <laughs> um, and then... And this was the first, uh, the second time I ever had turrets working properly. All right. Nice. Yeah. I got so that we'll one. move. So we'll move on to the Serakai. Now this is one that you might remember. Oh, this is the one that I was really excited about because I love it. Yep. Yep. And this is what you actually messaged me when I put this up on Reddit and told me to get on the server. Yeah. So I did. Because <laughs> this is like. I'm a big fan. And, and this is the one with two of EVN's mechs. One of the, this is the the exact same one that you had to rip the mech out of the fl uh, the floor of. Right. If you remember that, because it was glitched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was special. But yeah, this is um, kind of the unfinished version. It doesn't have a lot of the stuff in it, but I wanted it here because of the mechs. Um, yeah, it was, it was a fun build. I mean, it was different. And uh, it taught me a lot about turrets that, you know, a lot that I didn't use later on. You know, promptly forgetting all the time. And then we have the the ship that made me start YouTubing. Athena. Yep. Ironically, you still have not released that video. <laughs> at, at, on the day of this recording, you have gotten through that lineup and the lineup afterwards, but you have still not released the Athena video. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Love you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it's but a actually, um, yeah, I was I was happy with this. I'm I'm thinking it, it deserves a redo. Just uh, I go back and and build it again. Maybe not quite from scratch, but pretty close. Same like interior layout, just done way better, hopefully. Um, and then if you use your build mode and look into the hangar that I'm next to, mm -hmm. you can see some of the old prototype fighters. Some of them are actually really good. I might have to go back <laughs> and mess around with them. I really like the very back one, personally. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I'm just going past them now, yeah. Yeah. There's some pretty nice fighters in there. Uh, ironically, the second one from the back is the base model for all of my mechs. Oh. Which is kind of odd. And my original AMH-02 is on the other side. Uh, that's the one that I'm sure you've seen before, and I'm sure, hopefully, one of these days you'll bring out the Athena video so we don't even have to spend a whole lot of time here. Cool. Um, Very nice. So, so right. I think oh, it's time... Oh yeah, that's that's the the uh, actual interior. On the far side is where all the mechs are. If you're interested. Yeah, I basically took that fighter and stuck legs on it and said, "Hey, look, it's a mech," and that was good enough for me. Someday. Someday. But yeah, this was the, the whole reason. I, I brought this... This was the ship that I had been building. I built the Serakai while I was building this. And I uh, brought it on server and couldn't get it reviewed. So 
you know, a little while later, um, I decided I'd go into YouTube because I wanted to review my own ship. Because mm-hmm. I wanted to show it off because I thought it was so great. And it is. It's a, I really am happy with this. Being able to say that this, is, this was my first real build. You know, I'm, I'm proud of that. I don't know if I should be proud of that. There's a difference there, but I am. So, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> at least I'm honest about it, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, so then uh, I ended up going into YouTubing and the rest of history is the same. Generation 2 right there? So that is... I would say this is Generation 2, and then there's a Generation, what I'd call 2.5, which was an unfinished project, but which I think has a lot of bearing on where my style came from. Wait, which one's that? That would be the Ghost Light, right. and that's in another sector, so we're going to have to go there. Yeah, we'll go to that one then. Alright, hang on a sec.